Mike Newman is a former Barclays bank manager with a need for speed. He has spent his life thriving on the thrill of driving fast cars and motorbikes. And at 49 years of age, Mike has broken three world land speed records. The only difference between him and most of the thrill seekers, Mike Newman is blind. Glaucoma is a disease that creates a very high pressure in your eyes. I was born with that, so I had problems from when I was born. Um, and eventually my eyes just, although they weren't very good, gave up the ghost altogether. I think the interesting cars is uh, something that would have happened anyway. I think I just liked them from when I was a lad. I liked the sound they made, the way they feel. And, and I could see some colours a little bit when I was a boy, so I used to just like them. I think, as I did, they went fast and made good noises. And that, that sort of, the interest carried on. And as I said, as I got older, the ambition to drive and ride bikes were, got, I think it was my midlife crisis, if you like. But before I get too old, let's have a go at it and see if I can do it. I thought I could. I want to see if I could, and I did. Mike's journey began in 2001 by riding an Aprilo Falco motorbike at 89 miles per hour, despite having only ridden one for the first time four days earlier. I enjoy their success of, of breaking the records, that's for sure. And it gives you a bit of notoriety, I guess, which I enjoy. But um, I think proving to myself that I can succeed is, 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 is an important thing, I think. In 2003, Mike followed this success by driving a supercharged XJR Jaguar to 144 miles per hour at Elvington Air Base in York. In 2004, Mike and the Speed of Sight team travelled 6,000 miles to El Mirage Dry Lake in California in order to break the 200 miles per hour speed barrier. But unfortunately, due to mechanical difficulties, the attempt had to be abandoned. And Mike's here today on World Sight Day and wanted to break a new record of 200 miles an hour. Unfortunately, we've not been able to do that, but we are going to come back to that when it's safe to do so. Whilst I feel pretty miserable today about the fact that I've not achieved my ambition, I will do it, uh, but I need to make sure I'm safe for my family's sake. Um, so I, I, I'd like to reiterate that people I've met in America have been absolutely wonderful, and your support has been very humbling. God bless you. In 2005, Mike smashed his own record driving a BMW N5 to a whopping speed of 178 miles per hour. This awe-inspiring feat was filmed for Channel 5's fifth gear television programme. In 2010 at Pendine Sands in South Wales, Mike once again tried to break the 200 miles per hour speed barrier. But once again bad luck got in the way when the specially built Keaton TKR was unable to be used in the attempt. This setback didn't stop Mike, however, and on the 21st of October 2011, Mike broke the blind aerobatics world record for the most consecutive formation loops in an aircraft. This world record is the first under his belt in his attempt to be the first blind man to hold air, land and water records in the same year. Next up for Mike is another attempt at the world land speed record, and then an attempt to break the blind water speed world record. When Mike and the Speed of Sight team reach the 100 miles per hour target, Mike will smash the record and become the only blind man in history to hold all three. Mike Newman's courage and ambition leaves the rest of us in awe, and this passion is what is driving him and the Speed of Sight team to realise and release their full potential.